A Woman's Complaint by Laura Redden. Recorded for LibriVox.org by Shirtigal. I saw myself in the glass today, and I said as I loosened my hair, Oh, that my face were a talisman, and he could have it to wear. For there is nothing that I would not give to fetter his restless heart. For if his tenderness ever should fail, the glory from life would part. I should not suffer so if I knew that he missed me any tonight. I wonder if he ever wants me now. I know that it isn't right. I know I am selfish to murmur and doubt. Is he careless or cold? Oh, never! But they tell me that man forgets in an hour, while woman remembers forever. I love him. I love him with all my life. And I give him its choicest things. But he puts me into a gilded cage and cripples my budding wings. I want to be all that a woman should be. But he has the narrowest views. I want to work. And he wants me to play. And he tells me to do as I choose. To do as I choose? I would choose to be not a child, to be petted and dressed. But his friend, under the terms of an equal trust, respected as well as caressed. He gives me a kiss, and he goes away, and that horrible office door shuts out the face and the voice and the hand that charmed him a moment before. And if he's troubled or sad or wronged, he tells me never a word. He likens me into a summer flower, or a beautiful singing bird. If he'd teach me, I know I could learn, to work with him side by side, and then I could hold my head up high with a sterling womanly pride, and so I am jealous of him I love. Oh, jealous as jealous can be, for his lordly aims and his growing plans keep him away from me, and I sit away by myself tonight, dropping the bitterest tears that have moistened the cheeks that he left unkissed to whiten with cruel fears. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.